Hello YouTube, welcome to Drake Array Gaming. Today we're going to be talking about audio routing, dual PC streaming. I recently started dual PC streaming and it can get a little hectic and crazy. And you may think you need to buy a $500 mixer to make it all work, but you really don't. So on the cheap, on a budget, and an awesome way to do it that's reliable, I'm going to show you today some audio routing dual PC setups. Here we go. All right, let's talk about some audio routing. Um, so I actually have um, my Elgato card and I'm, I'm running an HDMI cable between the two PCs, right? So I'm running a HDMI cable from my graphics card on my gaming PC over to my streaming rig on the capture card. Now that's great for capturing the game audio and that's great for capturing uh, uh, the desktop audio and also the video um, for the game. But uh, what it doesn't capture is whatever you have connected to your streaming PC. So on the streaming PC, um, any alerts you have, um, any soundboard items you have, all the things that are going on on the streaming PC, um, you're not going to really have the ability to uh, route that audio over without some type of mixer or some type of setup, right? Because a lot of people think they act absolutely have to have this, and you really don't. Um, so you can see here on the gaming PC, you have your XLR microphone, you have your gaming headset and all that, and everything else is kind of coming from the streaming PC. So here's another option uh, that you can use to connect everything. So you have your studio vocal mic, um, you can have an external audio device, um, you can have your headphones and stream alerts going here, um, your stream broadcast and all this uh, stuff going here, and then it actually connects to your gaming console or gaming computer here. Um, and so you don't actually have to spend $500 to do this setup and do all this. I actually have a nice, easy, simple setup to show you with routing your audio back from your streaming PC uh, uh, here back over to your gaming rig. The Go XLRs can get really pricey. I mean, you're looking at $500 before tax and shipping and everything. Um, so it's it's $500 no matter how you look at it. They're always in high demand and they're only four channel and they're, they're nice, they're cool. They got a lot of cool effects and everything like that, but not everybody has $500 to spend on something like this. So what I actually did was end up getting this awesome cable that has a really, really impressive shielding technology in it uh, for, for audio and whatnot. And what I did was from my streaming PC on the back of the uh, motherboard, I took my my line out or my headphone port and I literally took my line out port and I connected that cable from here over to my my gaming rig on the line in and I uh, actually went into the Windows sound settings and what you can do in the sound settings in Windows if you go to your line in go to properties go to uh, listen I turned on the listen to this device feature and I clicked OK. So now everything that's coming from the streaming PC gets piped into my gaming rig and it goes right out to my stream, um, which is like perfect. It's like the cheapest, best solution you can do to pipe all your audio from your streaming PC over to your gaming PC, have everything all in one headset and one headphones uh, and be able to still control the audio volumes and everything. So, uh, you know, and this was uh, a $10 a workaround with a highly shielded solid cable uh, with no interference, right? Uh, has their shielding layer and everything. You can get an eight footer for 10 or seven bucks for a four, four footer. Uh, so it's like a seven to $10 fix uh, instead of doing $500 route. And you can actually route, do all this type of routing between the two PCs uh, with just one cable from your line out to your line in. And then, like I said, going into Windows, sound options, go to your recording, go to your line in properties and click the listen feature uh, using your default playback device, which is my headphones. So now everything coming through, uh, good coming from my streaming PC is going into my headphones and I'm able to, to hear it, um, as well as control the volumes in Streamlabs or, or my digital mixer, etc. So I'd highly recommend ch trying this out, especially as a temporary solution to you save up for the XLR mixer or another mixer. There's different options out there and they're definitely uh, can be pricey. So this is my seven ten dollars fix for routing the audio between both my PCs being able to hear alerts, being able to hear um, any type of soundboard options I want to use or uh, my, my vocal effects, I can hear them now in my headphones. Um, and all I did was mute the desktop audio on the streaming PC so there's no echo. So you mute the desktop audio on the PC uh, and just keep your, your gaming rig desktop audio live and everything gets pumped through your headphones, everything works perfect and now you have all audio uh, going into the headphones as one source instead of having to use a really expensive pricey mixer. Um, and if you use the Elgato software, they actually have a, uh, a mixer 
Uh, they call it the Wavelink. And so Wavelink, you can adjust all your volumes as needed, choose what you want to go to the headphones or the stream. I um, mean, you can digital mix it and just use this cable as an option uh, to manage it until you want to upgrade later at a point. Or maybe this solution works fine for you. It's working absolutely fine for me. Um, I'm able to hear everything that comes from uh, my streaming PC on my gaming PC, and I can just manage everything in one shot. Uh, this has been absolutely amazing for me, and I hope this helps you guys out as well. Uh, thank you for checking out this video. I hope it helped. Like I said, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the live streams. We live stream Warzone and have a great time. I'm Drake O'Reilly, and I'll see you next time.